Yeah, yeah, well, not yet. We're gonna set the map. Everybody set the map up. Okay. Uh, who is another way to know where your city is? You look at symbols of starting planets and your faction symbol. So, Ivan, you look at symbol on your faction. Every faction oh, is a symbol. Okay, so that's so you're right here. Uh, David, look at your I faction guess I have symbol. To put this down. Which is right here. You gotta find it on a uh, somewhere on the board. Yeah, yeah, bro. I kind of feel bad. We're kind of where you're sitting. That I should just made a custom table for this. I, I, I literally have two tables. <laughs> so, David, where is so you gotta find this symbol on the map? It's right there. Oh, I found right mine. there. Oh, David, right there. Yes. So, uh, next thing you gotta do is this is for when somebody doesn't go through with the deal, just slack them. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, this is for tonight. I'm gonna burn one when you guys set up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get more color? Colorful. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so next thing I do is uh, you need to find, uh, you need to look at the back of your faction sheet, and it's gonna tell you uh, what starting units you will start on your home system. <laughs> so everybody has everybody's faction sheet. Look at the back side. It will tell you what starting units you have, and you want to put them on your home system. So you see yours. So everybody's your your miniatures are going to be the same color as your tactics. See this and this. So yeah. Your miniatures are here. These are going to be your miniatures here. Or flags, yeah, infantry. Flags, are infantry, correct. What is this for? Uh, this is to put planets in. Hearts. Yeah, I'll show you. It's going to look like this. Oh, Watch okay. this. See this. Oh, it okay. just keeps it together. Okay. So everybody get the starting infantry out and set them up on the planet. Remember, if you have if you have infantry, they have to be on a system, like on a planet in the system. So your starting infantry that is going to be flags. Right here, you can look here. If you ever know what something is, yeah. Okay. So you need one dreadnought, and just look at my sheet if you want to. So I'm on. selecting on your home planet. So find your find your symbol, and boom, your home planet's right here. Okay. Yep. So you want to yeah flip it over. Use my sheet to to look at the picture. So oh okay, sorry. you see it? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be a little tight. Where's your home planet? Your home. You know, everybody's home system has a symbol on the bottom left on the on on it the tile. So yeah, that's one way to find out exactly. What's the squad? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason why I chose it, Arnie. Yeah, we all know why you chose it. Man. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> yes. I know, I didn't realize it. He said he watched the videos 30 times and knew everything about his faction. You just don't like black people. That's me, I'm the black people. <laughs> what would you do? The okay. No. So, to hawk. It's illegal. Hawks aren't that big. Okay, Slava, Slava <laughs> nailed on Slava oh, nailed on the Monday. Yeah. So, guys, remember, on your starting system, you want to put all your starting units. Was that you, right? What? Were you driving? Yeah, yeah. Black? I have, have a dead bird on my car right now. Oh, yeah. Well, somebody hit. Was that <laughs> you? Yeah, the Hyundai Elantra. I'm talking the Hyundai Elantra in the grill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, what are you looking for? I hit a fucking goose Destroy. once. Destroy it, right? Smacked it with, uh, like, it was coming down. No, destroy it. It popped up. Oh, I kind of shit yeah. all over my car and the windshield. What's this? Uh, that is, look at the pictures. Oh, okay. So if you flip your sheet over, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh my god, this is <laughs> <laughs> this is this gonna be a great time. It's gonna be well, cool. I mean, show you everybody everything. <laughs> yeah, just give you guys set up some better for it. Are the please face up? Oh uh, no, you gotta match the symbols. See this? These will match. Okay. Yep, you got it. And then they'll be flipped over when, you, when they become. Ooh. That's the uh, worst one. Yeah. So, Roman, you want to flip your uh, faction sheet over and find your starting units on your planet. Got it. And you want to set them out. Yes, Lenny. Yes, very nice. It's a little flag. Okay. Yeah, if it's your flags. Now, you want to put, you have to put them on the planet uh, on. Okay. And then also, if you have what you call a. Oh, uh, the actual uh, planets themselves. Yes, yeah, they have to be on the planets, yeah. Oh, also, oh, when it comes to um, so what happens? I have, I have three, but I can't really put no, three. you put three. You put hundred infantry on one planet if you want. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then if you want to stack them, there's gonna be tokens to stack them. Also, if you and have instead of infantry things, right? yeah, like if you run on the if you run the plastic. Are, are you limited to the infantry like that you have? No, you, no. There's actually there's more. more. Okay. There's Space there's more. like a thousand infantry units. You'll never run out. Great. So there's just these things here. You can keep adding on. Infantry and fighters are only two type of units you can never run out of. Everything else, you are limited to the number of components. So once everybody has their starting infantry out, if you have questions, please ask. I mean, we'll work with you. 
It's a pain in the butt because you gotta flip over back and forth, back and forth. Uh, when it, make sure when it comes to your space lock. Yeah. When it comes to your space lock, the guy mentioned it. Make sure you put it on a plant that has the highest production value, not the highest influence value, because you want to produce with the space lock. Just gonna avoid flipping. Just take a picture. All right. Talk about the fleet capacity yet? That's important. Yeah, well, well, that's when we do this. That's <laughs> everybody starts standard. Yeah. Yeah. Same, so. Which one's production? Is it? Oh uh, yeah. So influence is gonna be the influence is the blue. Production is the orange on each planet. So influence is the blue symbol. Production is the orange symbol. Yeah. So Lenny, make sure when you're putting your the the only rule is when you are putting out your uh. Your infantry or your space stock. Your space stock has to be on the planet it's going to be producing off of. That's why you want to put it on a planet that has highest production value. And the production value of every planet is the orange one. It's the orange number. So you don't want to put it on the lower value because you're not going to be able to produce on much of the planet. Yeah, what perfect. If, right, that's a perfect only, example. What if I only have one planet? You only, so you'll just have one planet. Oh, you have you everything. Have oh, you, you only have one planet too, Lenny? Okay, you're good. I got two. <laughs> yeah, I got three, dude. Yeah, that's a beastie planet, though. Yeah. My, yeah. my, my, no, you can lend it. You only want one planet. Some some factions start from more than one planet. So no, I'm just gonna is, is this my faction? X is XRD transporters. Uh, you flip it over. Oh uh, no, those are just standard tech for for your faction. Yeah, they're yellow. Yellow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So have two carriers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have you have a, you, your faction is a special carrier, so you're gonna ignore this one. You always want to upgrade this one. Right. Just like so I have so good, right? destroy <laughs> else has. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you pretty much that tech. The only way you can upgrade is by upgrading this card. Four fighters, four infantry. I got a lot of shit, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, next. Uh, everybody is then has to find their... Uh, so you have... Everybody has a stack of cards mm -hmm. that's colored with their sheet here. Mm -hmm. You want to take this and pull everything out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got you. I'm going to take that. Yeah, thank you, man. The only thing I ask is... But you can put food on the table, but just don't put drinks because if this, yeah. like this thing go far for here, so it's gonna be that. Uh, replacing it. Yeah, okay, <laughs> this gonna happen. You break it, you bought it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you buying a whole new factory. It's not even you break it, it's you make it swell up, you buy it. <laughs> so, yeah, so you're purple, so it's kind of crappy. Like, wait, I'm purple. No, you're black, bro. No, no, oh. no, look at this. This is the color. Hey, um, is somebody purple here? Yeah, I think mine's like more it's purple. Pink. Nobody. You're purple? He's purple. Can I? Purple. Yeah. Let me know. I think it's black. Flip it over. Bro. There you go. On the, on the back side, you'll see it. Yeah, it's black. Yeah. All right. Let me just see. Because the color is purple. Like, purple is no, really close to. No can I see? Okay. We're chilling. <laughs> Why is it purple? Oh, these are death stars. You gotta put them together. You gotta put yeah. them together? Yeah. And it's like, here's your cards. Yeah, I wanna put together a death star. I'll list the one. <laughs> Oh, so these guys are okay. Yeah. All those purple. Dude, there's so many pieces to this game. So, you want to flip over make sure it's blue? Yeah, you got Sick. Do you have a stack of cards? What is it? Do you have a deck of cards? Better. On. No, a bigger deck than that. Bigger deck? Mm -hmm. No. We need a deck. Okay. Are they supposed to go together? Am I retarded? Yeah, yeah there's a little notch on the bottom. Like, it's only going one way, Roman. Yeah, yeah, I am retarded. I know. Yeah, you just gotta keep yeah, twisting, keep twisting. I'm not. I heard it. I'll do it. Back to my whoopie pie. How do you know what goes on your tactical? Uh, I'll tell you. That's gonna be like, I'll tell you in a little bit. Uh, I guess, no, these are yours for sure. I'm retarded. Hey, okay. Uh, David. Yeah. Just jump one together. Find yeah. the notch in the hole. Yep. These are all. The mail and the fame. Don't touch it, let me figure it out so on my own. Hold on to for now. You're going to need to spread it out. I'll show you. Let me live. There's an example piece here. Oh, Roman, you put the two same pieces together. All right, there's I was a bomb. Like something like, fucking bomb. <laughs> mail and mail. I was like, yeah, these make sense. This, this will actually go together. I'm like, you guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> if you guys want, give me all your baggies. It'll clear off the board big time when you're using your baggies. Okay, I'm not sure why those were there. That's what my yeah. deal tells me. <laughs> so you bag. You the bag. You bring your own bag. I'll give you a discount. Here they are. Here they are. There's yours. Oh, yeah. I was like, there's no way all these go together. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> oh, if you guys have your baggies, you want to give it to me? Let's we'll put them on the table. We'll get, get them off Should the board. Should we take our currency out or leave it in here? Uh, it is up to you if you want to take it out or not. Mm. Should, should I have cards up here? 
Yeah, well, yes, that's the oh, next one. So, so, next, no. so <laughs> next thing is, so I'll, I'll, be, I'll be losing all these. Soon. If you guys want to give me a favor, if if you have, you want to find your starting planets, and that's what's gonna go here. So oh, starting yes. planets, there. So you're there. You gotta have two sets of cards. You gotta have one oh. that the so small these, deck. These are the starting planets. Correct. Okay. You have a small deck of cards, this so one. you want to find it. They should have starting planets in there. Boom. Okay. Your starting planets. Every planet in the game has a card attached to it. So you want to take it and you want to put it in your slot here to know what planets you started with. Color side facing you. So, and it should be in your small deck, Lenny, in your small deck, which would be that deck there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because because that's faction specific. So your small deck cards is faction specific. Yeah, and make sure you put the color side facing you because that means it's still, it hasn't been activated. It's still an active no. system. Isn't the exhaust that you flip it over? Only on one. Yeah, you only have one planet. That would make sense. Okay. Yes, if you only have one planet, you only have one card. Correct. So as you take over planets on the map, you're actually going to be collecting more and more of those planet cards. Or who has the other planet cards? Oh, it's a whole deck right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was like, we're still uh, from other Next step is uh, you want to find all your, your heroes, your agents, and your commanders. That was in your small deck cards, and you want to put them on the left side of your board. So one thing you guys can do is, don't forget, you guys can crunch this, close this up if you want, um, to make it smaller. And this just gives you references. Yeah, good wall. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Ethan's got it. If, if anybody needs help, you let me know. So these are the agents. Now, make sure you have the tabs the on the top right matching the symbols. Like, uh, Len, you make sure your tabs are on the bottom. Yeah, there you go. You got it. That's what it should look like. Yeah, sure. Mech goes on the bottom. Exactly. So flip it over. Yeah, flip it over. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. <laughs> because it's not activated yet. That's why. Okay. And that is your special technology that you can unlock. Yeah, I can't unlock it right now. No, you have to, yeah, you have to later unlock it. Oh, yeah. Now you have two yeah, planets. Find little, your other planet. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got it. Yeah, make sure you got it. That's it. Yeah. Hey, how do you know which planet to you have a symbol for your starting planet? Perfect. Um, okay. Next thing is, um, yeah, so your tech cards, what you can do is you can break, like I did here, you can just break Are them down. tech cards? Yes, yeah, so the tech cards, like this is my green text or my industry text. I just keep, I just broke them down into like sections. So you can go through your deck and just break them up how you want. You have to leave them like this? Or? Yeah, so so this is your... Yeah, and now these... My better one. Now these here, these are your unit upgrade cards. You can just keep them in one big stack. Uh, yeah, those are like your unit upgrade cards. Let me see, I got you. What are these ones? Uh, flip it over. These are your properties. These are notes. You, these are things you can give to other players. Okay. So you have a weird deck here that looks like this. On the back like this, and it has all these things. These are these these are alliances and stuff you can give to other players to give more powers off. Whether it's an alliance or support for throne cards, and this is and it tells you when you can play them and what benefits they have. Yes, yeah, so I just keep a stack. And the ones that are like wrapped like this. Is this That's upgrade. So they were either they were either you're out of those fixed, so I fixed it up. I updated okay. for you. That's why they have specifically have cover on. There's probably two things in there if you look carefully. Yeah. Yeah, that's why because it's around It's balanced out. The Arata. Okay, another four hours of setup and we'll get started. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, one recommendation I would do is I would take all your units. What I did here, I put all my units kind of behind my block because the only time you need units is when you're producing. Other than that, it's going to be in your way. So if you want, if I just push all my units under the table, yeah, because you're never going to need them until you're producing. Okay. What? Yeah, so that's what I did. That's kind of shoved in there. Yeah, I think that's kind of. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you kind of have like the worst seats because we're on the table, but that's you can lower your seat if you want. To yeah. like a special yeah. favor. That color guy? Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's up. Run. Just like a special. Yeah. So that is. So if you go also, if you, you have a little small faction deck. You had that one weird card that was on there also. This is your fact. Remember he told you about your your faction specific uh, yeah. promissory notes. I don't remember. Okay. Don't worry about <laughs> it. So you don't worry about it. And there's gonna be one. So there's gonna be there's gonna be like a, there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one's gonna have your special faction ability. Yep. That's your sixth promissory note. And that's a super powerful one. If you give somebody else, they can, uh, they pretty much have the, uh, pretty much have the John. You know. They have the benefit of your commander, is what that does. What are we listening to? Are our commanders oh, actually right now? Turn it off. Dude, that's on my thermostat. That's the crazy part. <laughs> are these all actually? That's one. This oh. is Stellaris as well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thermostat swing music? Dude, <laughs> it's that's wrong, wrong. Roman. We need the epic though. music from the gladiator scene when he's walking through the wheat fields. <laughs> the Elysian yeah. fields. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. 
And we're about to go to war. <laughs> There's gonna be more than war. Okay, uh... Is there a political true. song? <laughs> so yes, the intro music. So when it comes to your text, yeah, one pack. One pack. Yeah. When it comes to text, just okay. keep it all in one pack. What is? What do you mean tech? Like these are your like upgrade text. Just make a pile of them. Okay, I was confused about yeah. those ones. Your mech on mech because he's already unlocked, and you're you're missing a third hero. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Get ready to yeah. wheel and deal, fellas. Well, why are two thirds left? Huh? Oh, because you had to rattle. If you actually look, there's like two cars in there. It's like a paper in there. If you actually okay. take it out, you'll see. So there's okay. fixes or updates. So like one of the, one of the technologies, like they updated to make it more playable. Oh, here he is. Right here. Oh, right wow, well, right. I mean, the bottom. Right. 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 One that right there. Yeah. Um. Yes. I got three up. Here he is. Four updated cards. Okay. Uh, I will right away give Ethan a speaker. Token. And Ethan, now if you're the speaker, we're gonna keep the token where your plan test people can know. That's the only thing we're doing because you're not gonna be able to see him. Okay, well, so like a Okay, next. Is everybody got their units out? Is there did everybody find the home planets? Damn, Tim's got three too, right? Tim balling. Damn. Three man. Three planets? Yeah, three star yeah, I have three also, yeah. Oh. Three planets, you're dying first. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, it's poker shades on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, can we spoke to him, didn't we? Yeah. Or, gotta keep my head warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rounds, not messing around. Okay, next, you need to put uh, three command tokens in your uh, strat uh, in your tactics. You guys remember what command tokens are? The triangles. Yes. Naughty. Three command tokens in your tactics. Uh, how much in your fleet, Andrew? Two. No, Andrew, how much you have in your fleet? Well. I thought it was two, but it might be three. Because uh, I see you have three in yours. Three, so three, three in your fleet. Now, when you put command tokens in your fleet, you're going to flip them over. It's kind of a ship side. So just in case uh, you're a bump of accident, you'll be missiles. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Flying phallus is And it. two in your strategy. I don't know where not the penises. Mm. Okay. Really? Dude, I can't find it. You for? I trade you one spot. The holders. What's the odds of that? Okay. <laughs> next. Nazi made this game. Uh, next. This is definitely made in Germany. This has to be the best guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next step is uh, you guys have to look at your flip your faction sheet over one more time to see if you, anybody has any starting technology. Some of you guys will start technologies right away in the beginning. Just me, no. I did. Yes, yeah, you I won't find one. them. Those are already activated. Gravel drawn laser systems. So, so Sarween tools, plasma sourcing, and you got it. Right now, it's going to show you what color it is. Also, so so, so what you do it? What 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 what? Pretty much. Uh, I can't remember. Andrew did was. Um, I can't remember my name. If you don't know, if you if you have an unlocked your technology, you should just flip them upside down so you don't mix them up. You know, like, hey, you know what? Do you use, do you pick one? Or no, no, no. The oh, one you have, you have. Do you get some commodities also? Yeah, well, that's yes. all, yeah, of course. So you always time. get. Oh, you get four too. Dang, where are you going? Oh, that was so like seven hours four. Okay. Um. So yes. Yeah. So has everybody got their uh, starting technologies? And I'm coming for you. Um, you have two? All the air I thought I'd put a hair on it or something. Yeah, like 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 I think my brotherhood is in about war. I love the sound of anti anti mass deflectors. Oh, yeah, I should get out that little map and see what is actually near me. Oh, boy. That sounds too strategic. You guys see that? I won that shit right there. That's me. Yep. And the first, yeah, first time I walk in, I was like, oh, that's what we're And it's on. signed. So, <laughs> from who? Okay. The developer and the people that play That's everybody. Game. So another thing you do if you're starting technology, you can also put them in your cards that if you want, but yeah. as you gain more planets, you're not going to have space. That's the thing to be aware of. I'm not getting any just, more planets. Just, <laughs> now, one thing, you, uh, one thing I want you guys all to do also is, it seems too much. I don't want to block this up. <laughs> Good. Great, great, great. David, Roman, you guys are set. It's a winning strategy. Right it's, you're gonna, yes. you, you guys are going to get ganked on him. I'm happy with what I have. Can wiped out from the game? Yes. It's very hard because... because right, it's fuck, let me open. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be hard for both of you, dude. David, let's do it. 
Let him touch could... me with this feather. No, so you, you, you that agree. was a that was an act of war. I forget what. If you agree to go home early, just play that out. Everybody on the board. All right, so who wants to pay me if they want to leave? We need a special technology. Now we're talking. Fifty dollars per hour. So I think it's like dark tap to get that, and then you can leave the master flyer for six hours. So wait, so is he pretty well? There's not being able to go into deep space. All right. Next step is: Does everybody have so technology? Unless he has anti mass he can't. Take your time. That. Take about a minute or two because that's so basically he has to go deep, deep, deep. Great. He has to go. Yes, that's how you speed up the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, all, so they, 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 they you set up cards that have. Cam is coming. Promissory no. notes. Or like the yeah, they're like just just. Well, the good thing is usually yeah. everyone has done it for that. Yeah, you can trade them. You can give it to people. There's a deck. So everyone there's should. One all separate that's specific to the faction. But with eight people, people, there's no shit. Like, that's your <laughs> faction. Everybody else has that <laughs> same deck or our state. Everybody has that five. Yeah, yeah, I understand But that. you have that sixth one, and only you have it. So I can have that out? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's my starting set? Well, that's not a technology. That's something you give to another player. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything you start in that small deck, you should have out. Correct. Okay. Yep. Okay, next is... Oh. Um, so how do you get one of these? So that, that, that means I have this thing already upgraded. Yes, that just starts correct. So your mech's already unlocked. Uh -huh. Too many questions. Bloody. And it goes on Between your left side. You see, you got it. Yeah. Did I do next? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next thing is take a minute to two minutes. Read your faction special abilities. It's oh, on that sure. right side here. They, these are really strong. And if you don't take advantage of this, you're really going to lose. Yeah. Like you're going to fall. Like you could really, you, if you don't take advantage of it, you will be losing the game. So take a minute or two to read them. If you have questions, just ask. What does this mean? And we'll tell you because we want to. Lenny, no, yes. No, okay. Do you not have to pay for PDS or space dock? You just do it on the card. Just do it on the card. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's super nice. But you can upgrade it. The reason why it's here is because you can get PDS too. Yeah, but there's no cost for the base. No, it's only that exactly. Bro, good night. Yes, Tim, you got you good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, uh, Ethan, you good? Yeah. If I mess up you guys' names, too many people can remember names. Any questions there? You got good? Yeah, so the maximum number of non fighter ships you can have in each soul is equal to two. Uh, two. Yeah, the two more than the tokens in your fleet. So right now, the maximum amount of non fighter yeah. ships you can have is five. Okay, everybody's limited to their fleet size. Okay, and we're going to go over this real quick one more time. Okay. So we're going to go over that the, t the three things here uh, tactics. Tactics, so on the pool to your right, if you guys remember this, on the right side, you have tactics, fleet, and strategy. Tactics is what you will be taking off to place on a planet to move your units. So every time you use one, you have one less. You see that? Yeah. So you're going to be able to do this at maximum three times for this round, or you can pass for later. So in once this, you use this, it, you lose this it. Pool, right? Exactly. This is the pool for tactics. tactics, correct. Fleet, you will never take fleet off. You don't do anything with fleet. You don't do anything with fleet. But that tells you that's the maximum amount of ships you can have in a system. That are non fighters. Well, okay, so and a system. system. Okay. A system is a tile. This is okay. a system. So that's three. planet. Yeah. So you can't have more than three ships in a system. If you actually look at the starting faction, you normally have the maximum to start with. See? Three. So, so, three. So, oh, of, of each. And yeah. Fighters are. Oh, you're saying three. Oh, non fighters. Non fighters. Yeah. Fighters are. So are these considered? No, no those are infantry. Ground forces. Yeah. Yeah. Ground forces are not ships. Yo, where's our mech, dude? Uh, you have to you build them. Like, the saw them. Uh, so just be aware. Now, remember, the reason why non-fighters do not count is because fighters, they need to be transported whenever you move from system to system. They don't have capacity to hide. They cannot move. You have to unlock that to have them move from the system. They, the two fighters. This is a destroyer. Yeah. Th this fighters. can do it. And this is a fighter. Oh, okay. So fighters fighters are yeah. Oh, Notice the okay. fighter's movement is nothing. That's why. And, and you know what I mean? That's why. Because yeah, yeah. you cannot, it has to be carried. Just like ground force troops also have no movement. And then our upgrades are in the actual stack, right? Correct. Yeah, the stack of upgrades. Correct. Now, I um, just categorize them all as fighters because you know, they explode stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But you make sure your terminology. Okay, David, you got your faction stuff? Your questions about that? Yes. Uh, so. Just ask. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all here? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's, it's David. You got <laughs> Your faction is yeah. very strong, yeah. but if you do it wrong, you could lose the game. Because they're the weakest. They have minus one attack on everything. Yeah. But when it comes to technology, they can upgrade pretty much. On, they're unstoppable. You can have almost the majority of text in the game. I'm going to go find some cheat codes real quick. <laughs> <laughs> the cheat code is, oh, how did I have five fleet? Yeah, I guess I did. We're going to be okay, accidentally cheating because we're not actually what we're doing. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be easy here. Yeah, and the one thing is, um, so it's going to be the same things, just upside. Yep. Yo, I'm getting, we're getting two pies delivered. Uh, here? Pies? Yeah. What does that mean? Apple pie and oh. pumpkin pie later. Oh, okay. Pie. Any questions? I do want to ask one more time. Does anybody have questions about the oh, faction-specific uh, powers? 
Because it's going to be super important. What is it? Factions. Specific abilities. powers. Do you have any questions about your abilities? Upper right. To Up, the right of your, yeah, yeah, yeah. your character. This one. Yeah, and the reason I'm asking is like it will you will lose the game if you don't use it because each faction those things like really <laughs> are these secrets? Sure no, 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 no. Sure. There's well, actually there's actually cards. If you want to spot, <laughs> here you go. So there's actually like cards. If you want to know what everybody's is, you can just you can, every faction of the game you can actually look at them. Yeah. So if you're like, hey, what's Federation of Soul? This is what this is for. Yeah. I, mean, so that was, I think we should all just read them out loud. Just yeah. So you yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Right. Roman, go first. All right. Roman's faction specific abilities. Um, Lenny, um, since an island, you got to pay attention because you're his so neighbors. My name is indoctrination. At the start of a ground combat, yeah. you may spend two influence to replace one of your opponents. Participating infantry with one infantry from your own reinforcements. Ooh. Okay. Do you know what influence is? No. Perfect. Blue. Number. That's why you should ask. Say, hey, I don't know. Yeah. Influence is planets. The blue side's influence. So whenever it says spend infantry, that means you're gonna take a planet that has two or more, and you're gonna flip it over, exhaust it to use it. So I have four. Exactly. But the problem is, if you do that, you can't use production on that planet. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So mm -hmm. if you do that, you can take their infantry and make it yours. One of them, okay. which is insane. You pretty much. Okay. What's your second? And then one? devotion. After each space battle round, you may destroy one of your cruisers or destroyers in the active system to produce one hit, and assign it to one of your opponent's ships in that system. Yeah, now you, you assign. Get to assign. That's huge. Yeah, so when you fight, whenever you do damage, that the guy who you damage so keeps sacrifice just, the ship. Yeah, but you have to sacrifice the ship. But so you can brony ship. They're like, I mean, a destroyer is cost what? Two, one, yeah, one, yeah. one. Uh, destroyer cost one. Yeah. Okay, Lenny, what do you got? I don't have to roll a nine. Yeah. When you gain control of the planet, <coughs> replace each PDS and space dock that's on that planet with a matching unit from your reinforcements. Yes. So why that's strong? Normally, we take control planet that whoever's stuff is there, their PDS, their uh, what's PDS stand for? Planetary defense system, space docks. You get rid of them. You destroy everything. Your faction is you get rid of them, but you automatically put yours for free instantly. Instantly. Every time. Every, every time you take over, when you take over a planet, right? You're so, not taking yeah. over shit. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so you're gonna be very. You have a. You're super good at being aggressive. Right. Taking over a planet does that mean just moving into that spot? The planet. No. Actually... Taking over the planet. So you can have ships. In so like, if, so, if somebody puts their stuff there, you have to take over their planet. Specifically, the planet that has that. But it, the act is destroy them then, or just move yeah. Well, his what? says it replace. Yeah. Your wording says replace, right? Anytime yeah. you invade, you just destroy foreign technology. Okay. So you don't understand how to rock their their planetary defenses. Okay. But he, since he's integrated AI, he's AI. He just a robot. Plugs person. a little jaw in and he's like beep boop boop, and he's like, all right, boop. it's mine now. A little feather, so little tickle tickle tickle. tickle. Yeah. And what? It, so you get it? You understand? Yeah. That's super. Nobody else can do that. It's really strong because yeah. you have to. Don't use any of that. The reason no, why, no. Lenny, because the only way you can build them is if you have this card, and to yeah. get that card, it's impossible yeah. to fake people. Yeah. And or if you use a secondary ability that costs you a tactic, and you avoid all that, you just have to yeah. done and automatically you can defend instantly on the next turn. What's your second ability? At the end of each round of the ground combat, your ship in active systems may use. Bombardment? Bombardment. Yeah. The bombardment abilities. Yes. Your opponent's ground force on each planet. Yes. Okay. Another thing. The reason, the, what that does is normally when you invade a ship, when, normally when you invade a planet, you first, you bomb the crap out of it. Yeah. And then you land infantry and then you fight. Yeah. And then you fight, fight, fight <laughs> until you die. Here it's saying you can bomb it, the infantry fight, you can bomb it again, fight again, but you keep bombing it every single round, which nobody else can do. So you'll decimate everything. Like yeah. it's impossible to pretty much to fight against you on a planet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have to. Yeah, yeah. You're super. That that will tell you how they that's play. Pretty, what is this? 1942. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. Now the key thing is you need to make sure you have a ship that with bombardment. bombardment. Correct. Bombardment. So you yeah. can't bombard with a. And cruiser find or units. If you should find them. Exactly. It's like stay away from that place. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the ship. <laughs> Right, but David needs to know because that's his neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, David, what are your facts? Did yeah. we ever lose our home planet? Yes. You can, yes. No, if you I'm lose your home do. planet, you cannot <laughs> score victory points for public objectives. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your home planet. Right, David, so what do you got? So I got a negative. I got, I got two yes. positives. Yes. What's your negative? Negative is fragile. Ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. David and I, I, I'm sorry, Tim and Lenny, since each neighbor, you really want to pay attention to what his, what his things are. Uh, fragile, so apply a negative one to the result of each of your unit's combat rolls. Correct. What that means is every time he attacks, you know how like your ship, okay, it says you have a hit on a seven, 
Yeah. If he rolls a seven, he has to make it a six before he applies it. So auto, then he misses. Okay, so he's, yeah. He gets minus one all his attacks. So he's way weaker. But like, right in the penis. Right in the penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait a minute. That's what you think. Read the next part. Uh, brilliant. When you spend a command token to resolve the secondary ability of the technology strategy card, you may resolve the primary ability instead. Yes. So if David will probably never get this, te this technology card, he doesn't need to because he can always do the primary instead of the secondary. Normally, if you don't have this, you're always doing the secondary ability. The primary ability allows you to research technology instantly. For free. Oh, free. For free. Yeah. So he's always going to get, every every round, he's going to get free tech. Like, I mean, every time somebody uses this, he's getting free tech. Guaranteed on the bounty. And then he spent on six resources to research another tech. So and then could get two techs. You could get two techs. Yeah. Correct. Now read your last ability, which is even crazier. <clears throat> Analytical. When you research a technology that is not a unit upgrade technology, you may ignore one prerequisite. Correct. Do you guys know what that means, prerequisites? I'll, I'll, this is what this is for. So every technology, so you'll start, there's two technologies that don't require anything to unlock. How do you know that? Very simple, I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. All right, so watch watch the difference between these two cards. This, card. this one has nothing on the left, see that? Mm -hmm. But a green technology on the right, okay? None on the left? Okay, major player, dude. Yeah, yeah. Nothing on the left here, right? To unlock this, is, has three greens on the left. That means okay. you need to have three greens in your three other greens either unlocked or you can use planets. Some planets have, um, let me see if I can find Here's a yellow technology. Let me see if I can find a green one. Right here. See that? Uh -huh. Or you can exhaust that planet to give you another technology. So that's a tech skip. Tech right? skip, yeah. yeah. Now, what your guy does, whenever you do a technology upgrade, you automatically skip one instantly. Always. Yeah. So you don't have to ignore, you don't have to exhaust planets to do the tech skip. Uh -huh. Well, you ignore, you skip the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can always skip one. So you can automatically. You only need two here now. Because you skip one of the one of the requirements. Or if you land on a planet, you can exhaust that planet, do your ability, and then you only have one prerequisite that you have to meet. So, okay, so these are the prerequisites. These little symbols. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the skips if you want to. If you want to use prerequisites, it. always going to be on your card. So if you find like your war sun, it has three prerequisites. Okay. So you can choose one to skip. For example, if you line up on the color, you can skip one on the planet, and that means you only have to meet one prerequisite. For example, PDSD is level two. You need a yellow technology. You need to have one yellow unlocked and one red unlocked. Or if you have a planet that has, I'm going to try to find one here. Oh, that's a green. Planet with a perfect. There's a planet for yellow technology. See that? It's got a little yellow triangle. If you have that card in your system, you can exhaust it, flip it over, and you can use that as the yellow. And now you left the red. But your faction, you always ignore one. You can be like, I'm sure I ignore the red. Then you get that. Just, just like that. Just, just like, like that. Yeah, that's, it's that's just, just that insane. Easy. So that's why you got to. You got your units got to tech up faster. That's your advantage. But your disadvantage if you if you don't tech them up. You're always going to be disadvantaged in every fight. Like, you're going to be a hard time fighting. But once you start teching up, you're going to be pretty much ahead. You should be ahead very much. Okay, is that it for you? Anybody have questions with David? <laughs> yeah, I kind of missed out on all that, but all right. Let's kick David in the dick. Yeah. Tim. He's too strong. Tim is Ember <laughs> Fakan. Okay, let me get the cards out. Hey, we can, we can be allies here. I only have all one right, Tim, what I'm allies with anybody else who doesn't have one player. I have one player. I have one player. Leonard, you're, no, you're not an ally. <laughs> you started this war. That's it. <laughs> All right, Tim, let's hear yours. Oh, what the hell would that be? Uh, Master's of Trade. Yes, yeah, Master's of Trade. This is okay. <laughs> Rock and roll. Let's hear this, Tim. Uh, you do not have to spend a command token to resolve the secondary ability of the trade strategy. So pretty much the same thing like you do, yeah. but for him, he doesn't ever need to spend a command token to do the second ability of trade. You can just do it for free. And that what that means is, uh, if you spend one token, you can replenish your commodities, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, next one, Tim. Uh, guild ships. You can negotiate transactions with players who are not your neighbor. So Tim right now is the only player on the game that can do deals with everybody. Jim McQueen. Correct. Do and <laughs> exactly. So he can really affect combat. If, I gotta drive you home. And what's the last one, Tim? <laughs> you wanna make it home today? <laughs> I don't know. Get in the back of the truck when it's 30 seconds. Is that <laughs> When you are negotiating a transaction, action cards can be exchanged as part of that transaction. Yes. So normally you cannot exchange action cards, but for Tim, you can exchange action cards too, which is insane. All right, any questions, Tim? All right, any questions about that? Good to go. Ethan, what do you got? Okay. Ethan is a pain in the butt one. Here we go. Two abilities. One of them is I can spend one strategy token to place two infantry on, from my reinforcements. On any planet. Any planet. 
That you, no, any planet you control or just any planet? That I control. That you control, control it, which yeah. is pretty crazy. Because he doesn't have to produce them. He just boop, drops just, them, drops them. Yeah. Them. For one strategy token. Yeah. Next. Because usually it's one for two. Yeah, so. just, uh, what's the strategy token? Is it uh, on there. Okay, yeah. two. Yeah. So two in each turn maximum. I mean, every turn it replenishes? No. Every four full round. Full yeah, every round. Yeah, yeah. You only get two. So, so if I spend use them two wisely. tokens. Two tokens, not two strategy tokens. And it influences yeah. the blue one? Yes. And two tokens, period. For him. Well, for him, what's your secondary ability? I do have a question yes. about my secondary ability. Yes. So me. whenever I gain command tokens, yes. I can get an extra one? Correct. During the status phase? So Correct. do I start with one more on the first round? No. Not because we haven't hit the status phase. During the status phase, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So he is going to get, he pretty much gets free infantry every round. That's what it's saying, if he wants to use that ability. So he is automatically going to have more, he can do, his faction by default is going to become more versatile like this. He can move to that board. Tim, watch out for him. I mean, Andrew, rock and roll. All right, Andrew, what are yours? Right. Andrew's a pain in the ass one. Get ready for this I'm not a, I'm a peaceful turtle. <laughs> That's what he says. Listen, I'm going to be your best friend trade with me. Fucking liar. Right, right. Turtle, turtle! <laughs> Hitler just appears in my head every time. Peace, <laughs> peace accord. Yeah, hey, peace accord, guys. This, yeah, my ability's called peace accords. I'm all about the plant people. After you resolve the primary or secondary ability of the diplomacy strategy card, you may gain control of one planet other than Mechatol Rex that does not contain any units. Because I'm not fighting y'all. Just, yeah, just, just a planet. planet. Just for him. Yeah, does not contain any units. And is in a system that is adjacent to a planet I control. So this is my planets anyway. We're just in my system. It's yeah. not like I'm going across the board getting in your business. Yeah. I just want my slice. That's it. It's a little slice. Yeah. I get it. You can't so, argue. Peaceful. I just I send out my, my emissaries and, you know, it's, it's easy. All right, my second ability. So whenever he does diplomacy, if he ever resolves the secondary or primary, he can automatically take an adjacent planet. Yes. That's, so I so just, he wants this. Like, basically, if I did that now, I could just be like... I put a control there. I don't move any ships there. I don't do yeah, anything not there. Yeah, token. But I get the planet card by putting a control token on there. One of these. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, so you might want Orbital Drop. But Alliance yeah. Trade. Yay! <laughs> okay, what's secondary ability? All right, secondary. This is, the, this this is, is, this is one that I'm going to be saying a lot if I have the tokens to use it. Quash! <laughs> All right. When an agenda is revealed, you may spend one token from your strategy pool to discard that agenda and reveal one agenda from the top of the deck. Players vote on this agenda instead. So when we get to the voting phase, once Me Mechatol Rex is revealed, and we all get in our council, and laws are coming out, if there's something so offensive to me, and they're like, all right, anyone who has a shell on their back instantly loses two victory points. Quash! Quash! Boom! <laughs> yeah, that's it. So I, I just, I can veto something. Now, whatever comes out could be even worse for me. It could be yeah. like, if, you know, your race is T-U-R-T-L-E, then you lose the game instantly, and I'm screwed because I just uh, you know quashed yeah. a less important one. So I got to be a little strategic with the turtle. He spelled turtle. 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 Thank you. I had a written one. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I got to do it. Argan flight. My ability. First one is this is uh, first one is zeal. I always vote first during the agenda phase. Normally, the speaker votes first. I always vote first. And then the person, the speaker is the one who breaks the tie. Correct. If there's a tie at the end of all the. Oh, votes. I thought he would. He doesn't vote till last. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, I can figure out. I think speaker might over last. I think. We'll he, I think everybody. I think the person to their left or right, whatever, goes first. I got the cheat go sheet. And then the he would break a tie if there is one at the end. Speaker of the galaxy. I think that's what the, the if that's what the rule thing was, right? Or, speaker draws more cards from top of the deck and reads out loud. Clear all possibilities. Predict outcome. Uh, each player starts from player to the left. The speaker. Yeah, speaker's last. Yeah. Vote. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Now my so ability you can is. Go first. I always go first. Now that's not only it. If I cast at least one vote, I can cast one additional vote for every player on the board. Huh? So automatically, I have nine votes. Holy Because one plus eight. Because we're all so on the board. Just Including steer, me. Steer oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is like us. I mean, do you want to be my revenge? exactly how the government works. Okay, and then second. I'll offer you my AirPods. That's tribute. My lord. So I always go first, but but it's also a disadvantage. There's a downside to it, because you guys always know where I'm going. So going first is always a benefit. And the next one is raid formation. When one or more of your units uses Anarfighter Barrage, if one or more of your units uses Anarfighter Barrage, for each hit produced in excess of your opponent's fighters, choose one of your opponent's ships that has sustained damage to become damaged. So what that means, I'll explain lightly. Anarfighter Barrage only works against fighters. That's what's called anti-fighters. So if you have a thousand, if you have a thousand anti-fighter barrage, 
and there's only two fighters, the 900, it just disappears. It's useless. You know I mean? But here it says if there's anything left over, it gets applied to any ships that have sustained damage. They become damaged, so it carries over. All right, next. That, that have sustained damage or that have sustained damage? That has sustained damage to become damaged. Okay. That it will become damaged. But you can't finish off a ship that already Correct. has Correct, I can't kill it. Damage. I can just, you know, yeah. pretty much hurt all Okay, them. next thing is, very nice, gentlemen, uh, commodities. Everybody starts with commodities. Does everybody remember what commodities are? Oh, I haven't done a refund yet. No. No, oh yeah, I'm sorry. No, George, perfect, thank you. And then Man. I want us to read our quote. In, in character. Yes. For sure. Oh, oh, there is a quote. Is All right. The one that's in the uh, top right corner, right underneath your swastika symbol. We're going to go. All right. Here's your items. Here we go. Come on, a tissue. Uh, at the start of each round of space combat. So, yep. Every round of space combat. Yeah. You may spend two trade goods. You may recall any number of your dice. Uh, Reroll, sorry. Yep. Recall. <laughs> Too many guns. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that's all i'm thinking about um any number of your dice during the that combat round yeah so, so what that means is for trade goods trade goods i uh, will get to but you can just if you like you roll three bad dice you just re-roll you know what i mean and pretty yeah. much you, that is insane unstoppable exactly and then what is your second ability armada this armada. is crazy yep. this is insane the maximum number of non-fighter ships you can have in each system is equal to two more than the number of tokens in your fleet Remember, what, did, Lenny, where's your fleet pool? Perfect. Remember, your fleet pool is a total amount of ships you can have in any system at one time. After oh, combat. Man. So when you have combat, you can bring a bunch of ships in, but if combat ends, you have to destroy anything that's over. That is one exception. So him, his is always plus two. So right now you can have five ships in any system if you want to. Plus two more. Yeah. So pretty much two less strategy to command tokens he needs. Put the little green on my face a little bit. Okay, <laughs> next, we are going to talk about commodities. Uh, commodities so, is also... This uh, uh, just goes after Lenny. Wait, my, my quick question yes. is, does this, this apply all the time? <laughs> all the time. It is consistent. Yeah, it was a faction rule. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> all right, Roman, start us off with the quote. Yeah, Roman. Ah, <laughs> you mistake. Wait, wait, wait. You're old, old, old dying dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. You mistake me for a human. <laughs> that we share the blood of Jord. I am no son of humanity. My life for the yin. Oh, nice. Yeah, so Roman's faction, they're one clone. One That's a clone of one guy. He was trying to cure disease, guy. and he, and he pretty much realized he couldn't do it, well, and he I cloned himself. Except in reverse. It's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> I look like the fucked up guys from I Am Legend. <laughs> Alright, let me read that's it out. <laughs> it really does look good. <laughs> Perfect. That's what it is, ain't it? It looks like an emperor in coffee tea. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I have no quarrels with that. <laughs> okay, so we'll get the commodities. Everybody has commodities. Commodities, really quickly, commodities are useless to you. Commodities is like oil in the Middle East. They don't need it, they have no point of it. Yeah, but you what you want to do is, if you trade commodities, every other faction wants your oil or wants whatever you produce as your faction. So commodities are useless to you, but when you, what happens is, when you give them to the place here, they flip over and become a trade good. And that's how you have trade goods. So you want to negotiate for your neighbors. Hey. Now, I how much commodities do you have? Everybody, it tells you on the right side of your sheet, and I'll hand them out to you. Do you get those at the start of every start, turn? That started around. Round. Yeah, how much you got? Two. It's like turning a, you know, a haunter into a oh. Gengar. You got okay, Lenny, how much you got? Got trade. Oh, no, it landed two. here. <laughs> and trade goods are worth two. Oh, you one traded. One. Thank you, sir. No, trade good. <laughs> trade good is commodity worth one for one. You flip forward. Can you trade more than one for one? Yeah, they're just useless in your your pool. You can't oh, do anything with commodities. How much yeah. commodities you got there? Like if you and I were to make a trade, I would give you. Four. Can you oh, trade? Or you would give me four, and then we would each have four trades. Can you trade? Okay. Tim, that's, that's how much commodities Tim got? You guys ready for this? Six. 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 Influence also. Can you trade two commodities for three goods? Or is it a one to one ratio? You don't. You can trade for everyone. You negotiate. It's negotiations. Alright, Ethan, what you got? Four. Uh, I feel like we gotta take out the it? robot. I wanna take out the robot. Get the damn robot. Tell oh, right. Elon Musk was need. right. Oh, okay. Can AI take no? Now to remember, it is gonna well, be on the silver list. side. Okay, I think we're good to go. Alright, Dave, you gotta read your quotes. Oh, yeah, yeah Dave, read your quotes. Lenny didn't read his. Well, I don't even know how to pronounce his one name. Yeah, that's all right. One Esca, whatever that is. So he says, we can now halt progress for the sake of morality. Damn, he's a character good. <laughs> if you have not the stomach for science, then I suggest you depart. See, all about science, uh, technology. See what I mean? 
See, the quotes give us nice flavor. Look, yeah. what, what kind of things If you really want to make a fashion flip a sheet over time, I also forgot all my guys are called brothers. How it sounds like yeah, all 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 except, <laughs> except for my tier three leader. He is Danell of the 10th. He's not a brother. <laughs> the 10th. I just the imagine ten. a whole plane of Hulk Hogan now. Brother. <laughs> 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 Okay, what I'm going to be giving out is secret, ob- secret objectives. <laughs> you can never ever, you, but the rule is you can never ever show anybody these. You can tell them what it is, but you can never show them what it is. Yeah, yeah. The you can bullshit if you want. Yeah. But so you, you can, can lie never, about yourself. You can <laughs> never reveal these things. You're going to get two, you choose one to keep, and then you give one back. All right, Tim, read your, read your quote. Choose one Choose one to keep. <clears throat> this is a victory point you're going to get. If you, Slava, we're going to get a little lower here. Drop four, Sam. Do not show anybody anything. There is no price too great for the Hakan. No silk too fine and no war too long. My people will persevere. Hey, listen to that. We got a ball yeah. over it. He's King Molly over here just yeah, spreading that gold, buddy. Nice. Oh, perfect. Here, All right, right, Ethan. Lore. Lore drop. Our enemies consider us children. They show. They think us weak. Show them. Show them what the children of the Jor can do. Ooh. I, uh... Fighting. Pretty much the human race, right there. Yeah, I don't. I don't share the blood of the human race. So. Just, look at this. Oh, okay. just so that. All right, the turtles. Okay. Old Eldar Canage. To fight without cause is not the way, human. Curb your anger. Let us walk through the gardens and consider how to proceed. Just trying to talk it out. Yeah, just trying to talk. You it have out. to sound more gobbly though. <laughs> 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 Dude, my guy's name is Sakara Una Navari Argent Vanguard. Are you playing the guys that he was talking about? Birdman, the faction, Sakara, whatever. Isn't that the the one uh, he was talking in the video? That was yeah. Sardak Nor. Sardak Nor. Oh, yeah, those are the, the bug people. They're not. Bugs. You trying to pull sacred ground? <laughs> is no path to atonement for your sins. Be good. Only swift and merciless defeat. Birdman speaks. Sounds aggressive. Dude, I'm gonna aggressive. Okay. So what are these supposed to do for you? Yeah, you choose one. It's it's gonna give you a point. They have a point value. Like for example, they have a point value on the bottom. See that? Now you want to choose one you you think you can accomplish. And if you have a question, look at this first before you say the word. Once you accomplish this, you get that point. Yes. And you need. Did we ever talk about what these tokens? I'll talk the next. Wait, we we keep one. One. You can only have one. I know. Oh yeah, Tim. I only have one. Yeah, and then the other one give back. Thank you. Dude, you can't. You can talk about it, but you cannot show the card, so you can't take so me. So the victory point thing, right? Yes. That's uh, that's like a collective thing. Collective, that's yeah, right here. Yes. So it's like the different eras, in a sense. Or no, whoever gets to ten wins the game. So you try to get ten. That's the point. That's one point. That's the way to get point. Well, if you want to go to fourteen, but I don't know if we'll ever make it to fourteen. We'll decide. Is that we, yeah, basically, oh, we get yeah. 10 at like 3 o'clock. Why don't we play? Yeah. You want to play 14? No, I just want to know. Oh, that's to you guys decide. We'll, we'll just we play. We'll do 10 too fast. Then we'll yeah, yeah, we'll play the 14. Yeah. That's, you guys want to do that? I don't think we're getting to 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't think exactly. Okay, yes. That's, so, you got you figured out what that means? Okay, so when when does that person. When, when, um, when we get. They're in a the, the the status phase. phase. They're in the a status phase. So when can you guys accomplish it? Unless your car specifically says something otherwise. During the status phase, you score objectives. Follow initiative order. Each player may score one public objective and one secret objective. And so that's when you score it. What's the system? Flip over a system, over. this oh, is considered a system. Any tile solar system. 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 These get locked into there. Well, you the one you keep, you'll keep, yeah. And remember, you can't, as soon as you fulfill it, you can't cash in. There has to be an appropriate time. Yeah, which is the, Just which once. Is the, the imperial card. Well, every round, but every like round. you have to have the imperial card. Or, the or secondary. you can only do it during the status phase. Uh, number eight. Okay. Yeah, I have to. Be able to get you that can't card. do either. Can you yeah. trade them both then? No. <laughs> no, you want them. No. You basically, you uh, want every uh, opportunity. Uh, so yeah. three points so get just get the one thing and do best, and you'll see. Okay. Well, not yet. I'll just start. You got the whole game yeah. to figure it just out. Just the one thing's the best. Okay. okay. Every I need. Yep. Uh, if you have questions, I'll give you the rules reference. You can look at before you say publicly. Redraw. All right. Are there public objectives now? Yes, I'm going to show the next. Okay. 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 We're going to risk it so I don't spend like five minutes. I'm going to have my mashed potatoes properly time. I'm going to keep this one. Taters. Uh, The brisket, uh, it's been off like... Well, when when, when are we eating the brisket? Uh, Like five, six-ish. Yeah. We don't rush the brisket. That's one thing you don't do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you want to rush it. Okay, does anybody else have a a, 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 a public objective they have giving me? That's it? Everybody give me the public objectives? Secret Everybody gave, has one, correct? I gave them both back. 
Perfect. 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 <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Next, uh, we're gonna go to pr uh, public. I mean, we're gonna go to private. Uh, we're gonna go look at public objectives. This is this a part of the twelve hours? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> listen. Twelve hours start after the first. Two it's it's a part of the sixteen the, hours. Uh, <laughs> I brought a sleeping bag. You know what? Bro, bro, bro. I slept here last night. I'm planning on doing it again. I'll stay. Okay. Next. Okay. Now, this is public objectives. This is, and you guys can achieve these. These are shuffled, and they're gonna be randomly drawn. Seven. And do we keep one up until it's at the first round? Gonna have two up. Okay. And then every round we add one. And after five level ones, we go to then level two objectives. Okay, so the first two. I'm what, sorry. Is the point for us to get a collective 10 points? Or no, 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 no. You're individually. Individually. So how do you keep track of them? Yeah. Oh, this is what these are. You'll put yeah. these up here as soon as you start moving So up everyone has like a little tracker. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yeah. Now, whenever you lock an objective, what also, whenever you lock an objective, you'll put your token on that objective too. So let's keep these here for now. Okay, here's the first two. You guys ready? We'll shuffle one more time. I'm not giving you here. All right, public objective. Public objective number one. Here we go. Spicy, Kill spicy, Lenny. spicy. Leave the turtles alone. Okay. <laughs> Engineers of Marvel, have your flagship or war song on the game board. So it means hey. you produce a flagship or war song, and you automatically get one point. That's expensive. Hey. Yeah. Well, your war song you have to unlock. You can't. You have to unlock it through technology. Yep. Flagships. This here. Oh, right here from this deck. Okay. Second public objective. Here we go. Linear. Erect a monument. Spend eight resources. As soon as you do that. Wait, can you get them both on the same turn? Yeah, can you do? Yes. Well, no, you can only do one public objective per turn. Oh, okay. okay. I was going to okay. say because it costs eight to build. Uh, how do you get it? <laughs> after you fulfill the <laughs> requirement, how do you get it? Do you have to? There's a status it? phase. Okay. So you have to spend, or if you have a multiple board. people unlock the objective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So during the status phase, you go and turn, you go in the, the order, and then you'll you'll say I can fulfill this, or I have fulfilled this, and you have to show how you did it. This one you'll have to spend eight on your turn. Like, hey, here's eight of spending. Boom, done. And our cost is that the trade goods. Uh, is... spend eight resources. Yeah. Is so the trade goods are our resources. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or it's the yellow. No, no, planet. no, no. Resources. I'm, I'm sorry. Trade goods are not resources. Resources okay. are on your planet. On the planet gets yes, that's resources. Wait, wait, you can't resource? use trade goods as resources? No. Wait, what's really? a resource then? Uh, resources right here. Like, what do I use that for? Uh, building, objectives. Wait, building these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's not a trade goods. I thought trade goods, like commodities, <laughs> you can't do, but I thought <laughs> trade goods counted as resources. Very simple, guys. Yeah, well, we Six, worth, worth I want this to be a computer. And you can only build also. if you have a space. <laughs> I don't know, but right? you can't do this. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> only the only uh, computer okay. you know. Can you, can you only build if you have a space dock? Correct. Yes. Okay. Correct. Yeah, yeah. But you can build a space dock at anywhere you control. Only on construction. So well, when the construction control. agenda comes around, okay. then you can. What does that come around? Oh, right there. Well, somebody turn. picks it. So, and we'll get to that. What is this? Number four. Every I'm ready to put this in the law. <laughs> There's no laws in this. We're no, we're about people. to set some precedences. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And listen, these are all good questions. Like, trade goods. Trade goods represent players buying and trading power beyond the planet's raw resources. So, okay? Trade goods and commodities are presented by the opposite side of the same token. When a player gains a trade good, they take the trade good token from the supply and place it on the trade good area of the commodity sheet, on the command sheet. Make sure trade good side is facing up, which is the orange side, if you cool. ever do that. Uh, a player can spend trade good at any time during the game. A player can spend trade good in one of the following ways. In place of spending one, okay. In place of spending a resource, so yeah. yes, you guys are correct. Okay. You can always just trade good as a resource. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, in place of spending one influence. Oh, I didn't know that. Except so, for voting. However, trade goods cannot be spent to cast votes during the agenda phase. So you can also yeah, spend this for okay. one resource, one influence, or to resolve an effect that specifically requires that your trade goods be used, like spend eight resources there. Like I don't know if it's one of your well, agents or something, but I think you have the potential to spend. No. So commodity for us. So my plan to have four and four, those. does that mean I have eight yeah. Yeah. resources coming from this? No, no. four and resources use, and of. four influence. What's that? Oh, it is one time. So, so whenever you so get the eight, you basically you always, it. your agent yeah. always starts. But you have, but you have to do that during the status phase. Okay. Okay. Unless it tells Which you is how after this round's over, the other status phase. Tell you how to unlock it. We'll play one round and you're like, I get it. Some factions have one time use because they're super Once you use it, you lose it. Yeah, you lose it. So you don't lose it. You lose all your. You just don't get it until the next full round again. So it's one per thing. It'll say like purge card or one time use or. Something like that. So some abilities 
you know, R one time. So I would flip eight. this over. But I don't. You'd have to, have to read what both those are to. If I to used all out. eight on this, I would have to flip yeah, it over. It would be your to the next round. Correct. Oh, right. No, yeah, to the next round. Exactly. Well, two next round. Exactly. Right. We already have. So a that's why you want to put your PDS on planet that's production. Yeah, you have to be careful when you exhaust your planet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that's why you want to get as much plants as you can because, dude. But to take over planets, you exhaust it, you can die. Pretty well. You don't have. You can lose a lot of powers. But uh, that's why the more plants you control, the more the more plants you can possess. Yeah. One of the exactly. most important things about this game Don't is resource it. management, for sure. Mm -hmm. Just because something is flashy and exciting in the first second doesn't mean you should automatically go for it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ha, ha. And then, yeah, because when something man, super crucial comes around, like let's say uh, someone grabs construction and you know you're going to go to a planet, you know you're going to build a space dock, you know you're going to build a PDS. Well, to use a secondary ability, you have to spend a token to do that. So, let's say someone gets it, but they don't pop it until many rounds later. Everyone already spent tokens, so when they do pop construction, you don't have any tokens left to use that secondary ability. So, you kind of want to be careful. And it's hard because none of us really know mm -hmm. how the flow works well and what to save for. But that's once we do, you know... But once yeah. you lose your, once you flip a planet over, you can die. You no. can't die. No, no, no. Just, just change the resources. Spent. Yeah, think of like a tree you cut down. You gotta wait till the tree grows back. It's gonna grow back. Now the other question. Is, the end of so, so my yes. planet has four influence and four resources. So you, I have an ability that says I have to spend two influence to replace one. If I only use two of the four available from the you lose of the two. You lose yeah. the two. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, now that we're ready, the speaker gets to choose the first of okay. the eight strategy cards that he wants to have. I need to look at all. Yes. Absolutely. I want to vote. <laughs> so we have to, to someone down. has to get to medical wrecks before the council right. begins. Thumbs down. I don't, I don't feel care. Right? It's going to be like the from what are they doing? When you they're like doing the sideways and they're like, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Four. That's how yeah. we vote every split. time. <laughs> yes. Okay. When you land, you split them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if you're carrying, like if I carry infantry to this, when I land, if you have two infantry, you can put one here, one there on the system. You can split up your infantry however you want from the different systems. Also, remember, if you're moving through a system that you have a cheat, you can pick them up on the way to another system. You just can't drop them off. You can't drop them off, yeah. You bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's an act of provocation. I'm planning to tell you that. It went to three planets. Side, so <laughs> we're going after you now. <laughs> oh, you're, you're a, you're, let me give you my uh, my card. Hey, you thought Putin was hard. Let me give you guys <laughs> my business card. So we have a treaty <laughs> against Lenny. Okay, I'm going to go over those <laughs> while he's looking at them. Remember. Uh, leadership allows you to gain three commands. Listen, I uh, more this than you. you that's not going to help you for shit. Keep coming at me. You're going to see what happens. <laughs> Remember, uh, so we're going to go through those from one to eight. The leadership the is you gain three command tokens. You gain three command tokens. Oh, Spending my influence to gain one command so token. Or probably the most impressive race. I'm going to take all your crap. Yeah, yeah. When do when do we actually start doing this stuff? Uh, when is your turn? Okay, <laughs> so hour. when our turn comes around, we do all of this stuff, and also you can do that whatever you want. You do one action per turn. Using your strategy card counts as an action. One action per turn, so like one. Yep, that's one. And action. The, oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah, it goes yeah, yeah. around like a hundred, like ten, 10 times. times. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'd be it'd be six at most because you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and maybe six if you use actions. Yeah. So if I take like a three, that doesn't mean I'm the third person to use. All no, you mean you're a third person going to turn order. Because that number also tells you who goes first. The lower number goes first. That's your initiative order. That's your initiative order. Yeah. So once the once you draw, that's the first player's number one, the number two is the player I'm number two. I'm ready to make mistakes. Let's do this. So yeah. I, I think the one thing I love about this game is you that me, that's your first yeah. mistake. You'd be willing to make mistakes. Because <laughs> I want to be inadvertently cheating you because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> doing it's not doing it. I think this rule says I get 100 players. <laughs> I spent the last week Henry watching all these videos. <laughs> Let me know I'm blind. In a notes section room, just write your own rules. I'm bowing down. How many action cards do you have? How many action cards do we have? Uh, seven. Seven. It's yeah. max. I was like, Unless I your faction says otherwise. So I love I these to see everybody, yeah. and then I will read all your guys' stuff, and then I came back. Once we do, once we do one round, like it's a majority of things will click. So I just want to make sure you guys do the faction stuff because that's important. But now. The game's pretty much starting at this point. Once now it's free for a while. Uh -oh. yeah. The speaker and, uh, is choosing. And when it comes agenda. to choosing, don't try to figure out what you're doing first of all, especially. Just send choose it. a card and play. Yeah, just send it. 
Who has cash? Pick your favorite color. <laughs> Matches my faction. <laughs> so the only thing I do ask is if you do this, please put it up top so you people can see what color, what number you want. For your attention. This is bottom. So, so we don't. So we don't let everybody in the room. We don't go in the circle. We no, you gotta go by the number. <laughs> yeah, you only bring out choosing in the circle. Well, yeah. what is like? <laughs> I have chosen for the turtle race construction. Stupid. <laughs> oh, you lost the game. You <laughs> So Tim, Tim's technically getting shafted since he gets the last choice. No, no, choice one there. Just gonna More or less. One. But, I mean, on any of them chosen, he can always do the secondary. Because whenever, yeah, you basically it's nice having eight people because there's never going to be something not in play. So you always have an opportunity to do everything if you're willing to spend. Then so basically the top ability to choose in it just lets you How do comes the ability free. goes out in the circle? Why are we choosing them in the circle? Oh, because speaker, speaker. speaker. Yeah, that's the only reason why. Yeah. yeah. And the speaker changes every round. So the next full round, how do we choose the next speaker? He chooses the next oh. speaker. Yeah. The I'm speaker always spend. chooses the next speaker. So you can use that in negotiations. <laughs> like, hey, you make me speaker next round. I'll, I'll give you a five code. Code. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll gain leadership. Do I have to be next to someone to trade? Ooh, leadership. No. Leadership. No, like, you have to trade. Yeah, crew, like, can I trade? Like, or a sell? ship has to be next to someone. Yeah, so so, so basically, one, yeah. if you want to trade with him, you have to have one of your ships adjacent yes, to so. one of his ships or adjacent to. System, system. Yeah. So if I want to sell this to Roman, then... you cannot sell trade secret. Yeah. Wait, when can we apply this? So if I want to tell him, I'm going to give it to him. Oh, yeah, you just get, yeah, yeah. That's different. That's not a trade. Oh, this yeah, is just like, a deal. He, he can just give me money. Like a uh, commodity. He doesn't have money. <laughs> He's poor. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I, like if I got or that deal you can't really. Get. So basically, if, if money's changing hands, it has to be neighbors. Yeah, like, they don't have yeah, uh, yeah, PayPal. You can, you, 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 I mean, you can negotiate to give you money, but promise you have to your neighbor to give no, that sale. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I can now, negotiate something else. You can yeah. say, "Hey, I'm gonna send my ship to you. Don't attack it." And you know, when I send my ship, I'll give you these trade goods, and I'll give you, you know, well, speaker like, token. But like alliances of promissory notes, you have to be next to each other. No. No. Yes, all <laughs> trades adjacent. Yeah. Until yeah, this is taken. Now you Mondays. can do favors. And you can be like, like hey, yeah, because then everybody, they're in that agenda phase, can okay. negotiate. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to chill. But you can wheel a deal at any time. Yeah, yeah, like, if you promise something, the first like couple turns, literally just try to understand how to move stuff. You're pretty aggressive. I'm telling you guys, the first two or three turns. This is a gentleman's agreement right here. No, no, no. You tell them, you want a gem? Give me the goddamn hand. Here, take them all. Well, you got to be adjacent to each other first. Oh, no worries. So, what is this? Who got this? Is there option? Right. Yeah, I'll explain. I'll explain. Always, always Tim, you're stuck to the last one. You. Trade, like, if I picked number eight, <laughs> eight, there, yeah. eight, eight is my strength. Yeah. It wouldn't do anything for me to have. No, eight. eight is just when you go in turn order, not your strength. Was well, that the status phase? Oh. No, this is not status phase. Status phase is strategy, strategy phase. phase. Yeah, we're in strategy phase. Do we have to do that one? Starting with the speaker and in clockwise order. There each you go. player chooses his one Thank strategy you. card and any trade good tokens on it. Yep. Strategy cards can have. Video. Yes, if you play with less than six, eight people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because the ones left over get resources. <clears throat> the speaker then places one trade goods token from the supply on each unchosen strategy card, which we won't have. Yeah, yeah. correct. I chose diplomacy. I don't know if these are right. Okay, now each player executes an action in turn order. Orders of plays determined by the number on the, on the strategy card. I got a two. Who's number one? I'm number one. Three. Okay. Four. Determines the, determines the lowest goes first. Entire card speaker decides. Uh, when do we trade order plays determined by the number of on the strategy card. Lowest goes first. When a tie occurs, speaker decides order to play between tied parties. That's interesting. How come the tie happened? If there are three or four, okay, yeah. So, so right now, <laughs> it begins. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. So I'm number one, and it's very simple. I'll show you how it works. Okay. So I can either do. Remember, you can either do a strategy action, which is strategical action, which is your strategy card, strategy actions on your card. You can do a tactical action, which is taking one from your tactical pool. Or you can do a component action, which is any card that has, uh, says action, that's considered a component action. So, and I don't think anybody has one. I'm gonna be ready, I'm gonna be ready for hard liquor in like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and I will show you how it works. Very simple, you ready? So what I'm gonna do is, because I wanna take more planets, I'm gonna use a tactical car, a tactical action. I'm gonna place this in this system. Now, any, sis, any ships that I can transfer over there, I'll transfer over there. But I do want to bring infantry because I want to capture these two planets. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a carrier because a carrier can carry infantry. My carrier can carry four people. One, two. Um, I'm gonna bring a PDS system to protect me. 
and um, oh, you can carry a PDS. Yep, with you. and fighter, and I'm gonna bring a fighter just to stay with me. So since there's nothing here, I'm gonna land on this planet here and this planet here. Okay, I'm gonna put the PDS here, and the fighter just stays with the carrier. What were they saying about you can pick up units? when you're going through a planet, but you can't redeploy them. Correct. Oh, no, you can't deploy them on your You on can't drop them all. On your path, yeah, but you can redeploy them on the same move as long as it's at your destination. So basically, if he activates another system, like let's say he activates this system and he yep. goes this way, he can pick up one of those troops on the way. Yeah. As long as this is the one being activated. Okay. And it has a movement of two because he needs a movement of two to get there. Okay, and that is literally my Just turn. Drop uh, who is number two? So you get those two planets right Yes, now. I'm looking for them right now, exactly. Roma is number two. Now, one other thing Roma can do is he can just play his strategy card. He's like, hey, I'm going to play this. You don't need to play it. Now, you cannot, the only rule is you can't pass until you've played it. So at some point, everybody has to play their strategy card. You can't pass what? Until you've played this ability. So you, you use play the this, You play this ability you, now. You flip it over. Well, it's up to you if you want to play it. It's, it, it's, it's only good for that round. That's it. And then you yeah. get flipped over. It becomes nothing. And then, and then, then, then we choose strategy cards. Later that's yeah, round. Yeah, round. yeah, exactly. Everybody gets new ones, yeah. All right. So now it is Roma's turn because Roma's number two. So I use one of my tactics? Yep. Go so you got to take a tactic from the tactic pool. So what that means is I can only go to two more systems to soak in Roma. Do you know what I mean? We're limiting ourselves. All right, let's put Lydia. Now you want to find a system that's juicy, Roman. Like Spate, you want you want to pretty much colonize, colonize, colonize. Nice, nice cut. Regal, Ooh. Michelle now, Regal. Now remember, oh yeah, you're, yeah, perfect. One, two, and three. <laughs> that's so. So that name a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and my carrier can carry four. Can your character, if it's passing through a, what the heck's called? System? A system. Yep. Can you pick up infantry on the way yes. through? Yes. Yeah. Right. You just can't drop ones. them off. Are infantry the only ones that can we drop them off? Yeah. If you have guys here and you're heading here, you have a yeah. movement of two, you can pick them up on the way. But if this is empty and you're heading here and you have guys, you can't drop them off. Can infantry or fighters can occupy a planet? Cor or it has to be only infantry. Can infantry. Fighters infantry. Can yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, infantry is called ground forces. That's yeah. the proper So you have to. Carry so that, how buy, yes, uh, how do you, and fighters. How do you buy a, a, a construction? construction. Uh, you have to go. You have to do. Somebody has to do the uh, the build. Uh, I've got construction. Oh, so I'm sorry. No, no, no. Okay, and I'll tell you. So okay. if you want, if you have, if you have, a, like for example, I have a PDS system here. Uh, when you activate a, you can you have to activate that system and then you can build. So you have to put place down one of your. Oh, the system has PDS. Yeah, tactics. Tactics. Yep. Oh, remember. If you do that, it locks that system. You can't move any guys out. You can't move any men out of, units out of a system that has one of your command tokens. So before you activate, so I would have to go boom, boom, and then bring in. So basically, if you want to build on the system, which is the only system you can build on without construction, uh -huh. you want to make sure all the ships you plan on using that entire round are out of that system before you activate it. Because once you activate it, none of those guys can move out. Okay. And I missed it. The fleet well, yeah. action lets you build. Well, no, the fleet that's, action, that's the max amount of ships plus whatever modifier you have. Oh, so I will never, I won't be spending this. Yeah, you, you will, will be spending spend that. That's yeah, just, just information. Just, just okay. information, Correct. yeah. Now, there are certain things that let you redistribute and refill, but yeah, we'll see those. Okay, that is, I think, Rome, that's it for you, right? I'm getting your Yeah, that's all right I can here. do, right? Just, yep. So say, how can you do more than one? Are you, or are oh, you one you, per turn. Okay. That's so, it. yeah, it's just going to keep going around in a circle. So now it's number three. Who is number three? I mean, you're not number three. No, what are you you, the I Federation did. of Soul is on I the thought table. you watched all the videos. I did. Okay, so uh, the strategy lets me use the bottom half of anything, right? Or no? I didn't do anything with this. All I did is use my tactics. You can use a strategy on your turn. You, your turn. you can only use strategy. Now, the stra by strategy, you use your card. I don't know what Yeah, so you have to wait until the person activates it. Okay. Yeah, so it's free to use my card. Yeah, that's just an action. Yep. Does my fighter have to leave the carrier ship? No, but if your carrier relieves, the fighter dies because he needs to have something transporting him. So, so can he stay on the planet? Yep. That system, no, no, fighter. I'm going Fighters to have. Planet, can they? No. Oh, no, look at that. You have to have a can. You have to have something that has carrier capabilities. Yeah. yeah. But infant, the ground forces are allowed to stay on the planet. Yes, yes correct. Yeah, just yeah. And you have to have one on the planet. No, if you own it, you can leave this alone and just put one of these guys here to say that you own it. Okay. Now someone could just roll in your system and take that over. If it's not defended, no defense. But at this point. Well, I shouldn't say this. Just make no one mistakes. should be playing too aggressive yeah. this early, but we'll see what happens. Bro, we got a bunch of new people. Now, reminder, whenever you... Whenever so you... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, we got to stop. Stop, 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 stop. We got to go back a little bit. So, 
Uh, these okay. all get exhausted. Whenever, first of all, whenever you get a planet, you get they become exhausted. They flip over to the backside. No resources. For no them. resources. Number two, whenever you take over a planet, we have to do a planet scout. We have to scout that. We've got to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Roman. So I'll go first. You guys are pause. Make sure you're seconds. here. Find out what the capacity is for that. So, yeah. Because I have a red here and a red here, Dang, I'm going to look at these two red. So Humans, first man, one's here. Back in. Okay, I got a hazardous shard. I got my first shard in the game. And Ooh. the other one's a red one. Here we go. Come on, baby. Shuffle us up this game. Come I got on. a red and two greens. Come on, baby. Oh, I gotta flip this over. Hold up. Oh, those things. Yep, you got it. This is gonna be sick. What you got? What you got? What you got? Okay, here we go. Give me another shard. Yes. Ah, All right, bro. We got red. Red and two greens. I mean, oh, that wasn't the sound of a bird, man. Wow. And you said two greens. Do you reveal these, or what do you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just see what it is. I got an expedition. Oh, no. What's that say? Read it. If really you fun. have at least one mech on this planet, or if you remove one infantry from this planet, ready this planet. Okay. Or if you remove one, one infantry, infantry but yeah. I can't. Right so just hold on to it for now. No, 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 no. You can remove an infantry if you want. Or back in the carrier, or you, you just remove from the game. But oh. the plan is ready. The question is, do you want to do that? Do I have to make that decision now? Yeah, you have to make decision now. Yeah, you can't hold on to it. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get, but it's it's the red plan. It's only regal one. You can do that too. Uh, so I don't know if it's even worth it. It's up to you if you want to do it or not. No, get you one if true. Okay. Sure uh, here's one your green one. So give me that one that gets discarded, and then here's here's. Um, and he gets too close. He's gonna find out the heat of the yin. That's it, dude. Listen here, brother. You all know who you're fighting. We all look the same. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> um. So yeah. So we'll get Roman quick. Roman, here we go. You got two. Two greens. Yep. Boom. Industrial relic fragment. Okay. We got a relic fragment too. Yeah, action. Nice. Okay. Three of your industrial relic fragments again. One relic. What's that? That is another relic fragment. Oh! Hey, all right, all right, all right, all right. Easy, just hold on to You hold on to that, that's correct. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Ethan, okay. okay. what did you take over? I took over a green and Centauri and. Blue. Okay. Here you go. Here's the green one. What is it? Uh. I read the entire thing. Yeah. You may gain one commodity, or you may spend one trade good for one commodity to draw one action card. Now, keep this in mind. You can only ever have the amount of commodities in your limit, so you can't go above your commodities, even if a card says it. I'm pretty sure. You might want to double check that slob, but I'm pretty no, sure. No, you can never go above commodities. Yeah, so you have to trade your commodities. So I should just it. spend one commodity. commodity to draw an action card. Yeah. Yes, right. that would be, because okay. otherwise it'd just be wasted. Oh, and here is an action card. Thank you. All right. So that's all the cards. Oh, it's all the cards here. Just keep stuff. All right, and then you have two blue ones, right? What's the other planet? Yep. <laughs> that was a green one, and now you get a blue planet. You remember how thick of a conk, uh, how thick of our um, our pads with how much how much stone goes on them? Four oh. inches. So usually it's four inches of crushed gravel and four inches of concrete on the slab part. Are you doing footers on it? No, I'm just. This is just for my shed. I'm oh, okay, okay. So just four inches of. Well, you could probably just do a four-inch pad without that. We got that purge three. Well, just go through a relic it. fragment. Oh, so you got one. Four to six inches. Yeah, yeah you need, so you got a fragment too. Six okay. inches or four by four. So you hold on to that. Mine's four by four. So four eight inches. Eight inches. All right. Who is? Oh, I got your planet. So you got rail, and then who is number four? Are you keeping a flush? Who's player number four? Going to be raised. Andrew. Andrews. Raised. I would just do four. I'm just fill it up to the brim. Fill up the brim with crushed stone. All right. So I'm going to activate. System here. I'm gonna bring old Cruiser Boy with four Jabronis. And I get both Akon and Jill Ear. Here you go, here's your one planet. It becomes ex it's exhausted when you get it. So and here's your other one. Exhausted right away. Yeah. What do you get? So I get Joel Ear and Akon. without me moving. It's stressful. They're right? both two threes. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, two threes. Two resources, three influence. All right. Um, oh, I think you passed one. Awesome. Nope, nope, no. Not bad. Not bad. So David, depending on the direction Lenny goes, goes, this is where we decide. Oh. Oh, we, depending on which direction. Who is Lenny number? Goes, oh, eight, oh okay. So who's number five? So if you're number, used, I got you plan expirations, which is two greens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can find the plans. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we know we're playing over it. Over these things. Yeah. And they, yeah. they are. Uh, cool things you can just throw at each other. Yeah, over yeah. these yeah. things. Uh, you can explore those, but you need to have a technology upgrade called okay. deep, deep uh, mass, well, dark mass. This is mass. the one where you need to have a bunch of red ink to get through. Gotta have a dark tap, though. You have to have special abilities to red. Tap. Yeah. Uh, so red. Oh, it just red. means it's it's there's rules around it. So if you have any mass deflectors, you can go through it. You can disobey that rule. Yeah. But that red's just giving you a heads up, like, yo, pay attention. There's rocks in this. So for my first turn, what I could have technically done is spent these 
four resources to get myself a mech. No, you have you, to do this. See, that's the thing. You'd have to activate that system. Yeah, none of my guys would have been able to leave. Exactly. Right. So I would have been right. able to get the resources and then just lock my shit down. Right. 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 Which okay. sucks. And then next round, that's when I would have been able to build a right. mech. Yes. Right. But now you can build a mech or you can bounce out again. Okay, who's who's number five? It's number five's turn. We'll figure it out. Number no, five. Number five. Yeah. 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 So I get okay. an industrial relic fragment. Two. And... Local fabricators. You may gain one commodity or you may spend one trade good or commodity to place one mech from your reinforcements on this planet. Heck, yes, I will do that. So I'm going to spend a commodity. Boom, boom. I'm placing a mech, which... Now, you should, I wish I had chose for planet, but that's fine. Just at this point, it is what it is. All right. Great. I went on that one. Yeah, yeah. Great. All right, number five. Who's number five? Number five, that is me. Bo, what are you doing? I don't know. What am I doing, guys? Yeah. So you know, so you want, plans, I want yeah. these two. Okay. So what? that means to you ever move, to ever move anything, you need to have tactics. Tactic. tactic. You will place on the Replenishes ship. Replenishes every single full round. Every full round, you get right. two. Just get that stuck in my head. Yeah. Right. So I place this here. Yep. And now you can now remember you have to infantry have to be carried by something and fighters. So. Yep. Your carrier. Boom. And look on your carrier sheet to see how many it can carry. Take remember your carry. dreadnought can also carry one too. Oh, yep. this guy. It's a battle. Carry four. four. Combat. So four. Oh, guys. You yep. can carry four. So you can bring four jabronis with you. Which are fighters or flags. No, this is not. You don't need to carry oh. these. These can fly. But so these, these, are, guys, these yep, are the fighters. You have to carry these.